What's up, geeks and gamers? It's Jeremy coming to you with another video, and today I just saw Shaft. Oh my goodness, I love this movie. I didn't even know this movie was coming out until Ethan Van Skyver mentioned it yesterday. Um, so I, when I hear about this movie, I see that the critics are ripping it apart, and I see that the fans are loving it. And that usually is a very telling sign that the movie goes against the narrative that the critics want. Because the critics will tell you how much they respect black people and they love minorities. And you can't disrespect minorities as long as the minorities fit their narrative and their agenda. But the moment that black people are not useful for them... They will push them aside, they will ignore them, they will dismiss them. And Shaft is being completely ignored by the mainstream. Completely ignored. you got an all-black cast, you've got a black director, and you've got a movie that 94% of the audience here is loving. And nobody's talking about it. Why are they talking? Why are they not highlighting the fact that black culture is being so widely accepted by the audience? Because it doesn't fit their narrative. They always want to throw these bombs at fans because, oh, people didn't like it. It must be because they're racist. So are we going to use the same logic on them now that they're ripping apart a movie that was directed by a black man and it has a pretty much all black cast, yet they're trashing it? Seems like the critics are intimidated by black people being in a movie that it doesn't push political pandering. This movie, I'm not going to, you know, there's no spoilers. It's, 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 it, look, the movie, it acknowledges the past, it acknowledges the present, and it builds for the future. Perfection in terms of that structure. Um, and it's, it's just, it's so good. It's so good. And it's unapologetic. It has a story to tell. And it's not here to worry about your agenda garbage. There's black jokes. There's white jokes. There's gay jokes. There's a lot of gay jokes. Uh, there's comments about men being men. And women are attracted to real men. There's comments like that. You know, there's one point where, where Shaft and his son are in the car. And his son turns the song on. And Shaft's like, not even white folks will listen to this, man. It was so good. I loved it. And... It's just, it, it was very authentic to what it was trying to tell. There was no pandering. It wasn't worried about, oh, we can't say this because we'll upset that social crowd. Uh, there were bi-curious jokes. There was identity jokes. Um, it, it was awesome, man. I loved it. Samuel L. Jackson was as great as he always is. There's no doubt about that. Uh, and it was, it was funny. It was interesting. Good chemistry with the characters. And, um, you know, it's set up for the future. And it honors the past. And, and it was very... Uh, relevant to the time we're living in and kind of t making a lot of jokes about millennials and technology and, and all of these things and and how men aren't men right now. And I loved it. I love this movie. And it's so funny that the critics, the same critics that are always uh, hyping up movies like Black Panther, which I liked, which I gave an 8 out of 10, yet for some reason I'm, I've been called a racist because I gave Black Panther a, a, a goddamn 8 out of 10. Um... So, but, but if you criticized Black Panther, you were a racist and you, you were just against minorities being in a film. But now we've got the same critics that were telling us that we couldn't criticize Black Panther, but now they're ripping Shaft apart. And I'm trying to understand their logic. But again, why am I trying to understand their logic? They have no logic. They've never had logic. They've never had it and they're never going to have it. They are career victims. They don't think for themselves. And they're always worried about using people's race and gender for their own personal advantage. And the moment they can't use you, the moment they can't use your race and your gender, you are worthless to them. And Shaft is a classic example of this. A classic example. This is a very entertaining movie. I'm not saying it should win a goddamn Oscar. I'm not saying that at all. I'm just saying... You're going into it looking for a Shaft movie. You're going into it looking for Samuel L. Jackson to drop uh, maybe 30 or 40 mother effers, right? You're looking for a lot of sarcasm. You're looking for some street, you know, storytelling and all of that. And it did it, but it also made you care about the story and the characters to an extent. Like, you're invested in that. You know, it was awesome. I enjoyed it. I was very, very happy with this movie. And it didn't hold back. It didn't hold back at all. 
It's very important that people, again, if this is the type of movie you're looking for, if you're looking for a movie that's not pandering to political uh, correctness and identity politics and a movie that's, you're looking for a movie that's not scared to tell its story, not scared to upset this crowd or that crowd, this is the movie for you. And again, the mainstream is ignoring it. They don't want you to see it. The critics are trashing it. They don't want you to see it because it goes against every single thing that they preach about. And it exposes them for the hypocrites they are. So we as fans need to put the word out about this movie. It's very entertaining. It's very refreshing to see this type of movie in 2019. And this is the type of movie that a lot of us want to see more of. We don't want to see all of the PC SJW garbage. And this movie has literally none of it. No SJW garbage. No political pandering. No politics pushed into it. It just tells a story, and it tells it in an entertaining way. And yes, there is no doubt, I am definitely over-hyping this movie a bit because it's almost a unicorn in 2019. It's so refreshing to see a movie take an approach like this and go against the grain, go against the trend, go against what every other movie is going against. Now, if this movie comes out 10, 15, 20 years ago, which, I mean, it, then I'm sure I'll be like, that's eh, pretty good. But I'm, I'm definitely seeing this in a different light because of the time we live in. And for it to have the balls to do this, we need to show with our wallets that this is what we want to see more of. So again, if you've seen Shaft, I, I would love for you to drop the comments below. Let me know what you think. I Really enjoyed it. I'm probably going to go see it again just because I think it's important to speak with our wallets. And I am going to speak with mine. And I'm going to go see this uh, a few more times to show my support because I believe it's worth it. So, you guys let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Have a great day. Thank you very much for checking out this video. And we will talk to you later. Hey everyone, it's Jeremy from GeeksAndGamers.com, and if you're a fan of Geeks and Gamers, please go to our website, visit our merchandise store. We have t-shirts, hoodies, hats, beanies, tank tops, and in the very near future, we're going to have many more products for you to choose from. So thank you for the support. We appreciate it. You guys have a great day, and we will talk to you later.